Seemingly affronted that a woman could create such a fine work of modernism, Le Corbusier asserted his dominion over the territory. E1027. Let's learn some of the stories behind this iconic architecture. The French Riviera is home to E1027, a modernist villa designed by Irish architect Eileen Gray, who purchased the land and designed this private escape for herself and her lover at the time, Jean Badavici. The villa name represents their initials, E for Eileen, 10 for the J of Jean, 2 for the B of Badavici, and 7 for the G of Gray. Gray had had a successful career as an artist, photographer, and an interior and furniture designer when she turned to architecture and designed this home. At age 48, this was her very first piece of architecture. Within only 1,400 square feet, she designed custom furnishings including the famous E1027 table, the bibendum chair, carpets based on her collages, wardrobes that opened to become walls, and a whole host of cupboards and other bespoke built-in furnishings. It's a simple cube raised on pelotes and perched on the hillside to optimize views of the sea. To be an artist or architect when you're a woman in Europe at this time was bold. She answered the call of modernists, including Le Corbusier, who saw the house as a machine and argued a house is not a machine to live in. It's the shell of a man, his extension, his release, his spiritual emanation. And there's another reason beyond gender that you might not know the architect of the house. Until 1967, the credit for the design was often given to Le Corbusier. After Badavici and Gray had parted, Le Corbusier stayed as a guest, where he painted bright murals all over the white walls. The murals infuriated Gray, who considered it vandalism. Le Corbusier tried to purchase the property, but failing to do so, he ended up building his own guest cottage next door. E1027 survived those alterations by Le Corbusier in 1938, target practice by the Nazis during World War II, and a stint as a drug den until the odor was murdered in 1996. The villa, gardens, and land are all historic monuments under the care of preservationists since 1999. Eileen Gray did not find critical success until 1972, just four years before her death at the age of 98. Against all odds, which seems appropriate for this woman, who made strides in every aspect of life, becoming the first woman to get a driver's license in Paris and obtain a pilot's license, the design continues to stand the test of time.